channel we talk about health fitness wellness and living your best life as a tito or a tita all right or maybe even not yet a tito or a tita so to some people they may be offended but to me i think it's a nice thing to be a tito and not have a dad bod yet in this video we are going to talk about strength strength okay so a lot of people want to get stronger but there are very very few people who do get strong enough all right and in lifting circles, there are a lot of ways to get stronger. There's not one path to it. So this video is definitely going to cover the general ways to get stronger. Mostly on with the context of someone who's in the intermediate level. Now, I say that because for the beginner, if you are a beginner, it's very, very easy to get stronger. You just have to train properly. Like, you can actually do practically anything and you're going to get stronger. You can eat anything, you're gonna get stronger. But once you get to that intermediate level or the you're you're you know, you're still a novice, but you're not like you're out of the beginner's honeymoon, as they say in lifting circles, which is probably your first six months to one year of lifting. So you're in that second year of lifting, and the strength gains have stalled a little bit. So medyo hindi ka na masyado lumalakas. So if you like that topic. Please watch this video to the very end and give this video a like. Right about now. Okay, na? I like it. Okay, so let's continue. So, number one, you have to think about if you want to get strong, is you have to lift heavy weights. Now, this is going to be relative to your to how how heavy you are. If you're a hundred twenty pound person, like maybe you're 120 pounds, 150 pound back squat will be relatively heavy to you if you're an intermediate. But if you are a 170 pound guy like me, 150 pound back squat will be relatively light. So that depends. So you have to lift heavy relative to your body weight. Now every power lifter knows this. I am not a power lifter but power lifters know this. A lot of these power lifters <laughs> A lot of power lifters, they know that to get strong, they have to be lifting in that rep range, which is doing their triples, their doubles, their fours, their fives. Most of the time, it's under six reps. And every now and then, even get into that territory where they do the heavy singles or those heavy one rep lifts. Now, not necessarily your one rep max, but approaching those percentages, like towards your 85, 90%. And constantly they have to do this. Now, why? Because there is a principle in fitness known as the SAID principle. S-A-I-D. Like, but that does not refer to sinabi niya or sinabi nun, okay? So a lot of people like to believe in bro science, which is sabi kasi nun. But it's not that. It's not the SAID. Not, hindi yung ganong SAID. So SAID refers to specific adaptation to impose demand. It simply means that your body will adapt to the way you train. I remember we got a comment recently. He want, he said, Gusto ko kasi boxer physique. You're in the wrong channel. You want a boxer physique? Just go to a boxing channel and train like a boxer. That's because your body will adapt to the specific way that you train. Which is why, if you are a cyclist, if you like going biking or whatever, look at endurance athletes who are engaged in long distance cycling. And that's probably what your body will look like once you get to a higher level of the sport. So same thing goes, if you want to get strong, you want to get you want to train a little bit like not exactly, but you want to train a little bit like power lifters and strong men like Half Thor Bjornsson, Eddie Hall, Brian Shaw, people like that. And definitely those guys know a thing or two about getting strong. On the other hand, you're probably not going to train like a bodybuilder. 
The reason being, bodybuilders like to train in that range that's above 6 reps, mostly 8, 10s, 12s, and they utilize a lot of time under tension. When you want to get strong, you want to lift heavy, so you want to go be efficient and actually exert the fastest force on that object because strength is just force applied to an object. So lift heavy, that is number one. Number two is you have to train with the proper volume and frequency. So here's the thing, generally speaking, I rarely meet people who don't train enough when we're talking about lifting. Most people train too much. Okay, so when you're trying to get strong, you have to be very intentional about the lifts that you do, about your accessory work, or what's known as assistance exercises. So when it comes to assistance exercises and accessory work, you have to be very intentional and specific about what you want to achieve. For example, if you are doing deadlifts, let's say for example you want to increase the poundage on your deadlifts, you probably want to do assistance exercises for that deadlift such as Romanian deadlifts, good mornings, even things where the range of motion will be limited like rack pulls, things like that. So you probably want to lift more specific towards those goals. Now, for example, a lateral raise for the dumbbell with a dumbbell, which is a single joint exercise where you raise the dumbbell like this, is probably not going to affect your bench press that much. On the other hand, a shoulder press, a dumbbell shoulder press, will strengthen your shoulders and your pressing power in a way that it will probably increase your poundage in the bench press. The same with dips. Now, uh, Jim Wendler, the author of the 531 method, who knows a thing or two about getting stronger since he has squatted 1,000 pounds. How about you? How many people do you know have squatted 1,000 pounds? So let us know in the comments below if you know someone who squatted 1,000 pounds. Because personally, I don't know anyone who squatted 1,000 pounds. I only know of Jim Wendler who squatted 1,000 pounds. But there are a lot of elite lifters, but that's very, they're few, very few and far between. So Jim Wendler has squatted 1,000 pounds and he wrote the 531 method. We had a video about that. So he says that when it comes to assistance exercises, sometimes less is more. So sometimes he says like, uh, it could be as basic as dips and chin-ups, something like that, and that's about the only mix of assistance exercises he'll do. So you have to be very, very intentional about the volume. You don't want to be overtraining. So that being said, uh, I know there's a lot, that's a very controversial topic. A lot of people are, uh, you know, are against overtraining or they say it doesn't exist. And there are some in those camps who are very, very, uh, very cautious about their volume and their load. So that being said, training for hypertrophy is very different from training for strength. So your assistance exercises will also be somewhat different. And you will want to focus on compound multi-joint assistance exercises like like I mentioned, dips, chins, lunges, Romanian deadlifts, things like that. And finally, let's go to number three. So first, we talked about lifting heavy. Second, we talked about training volume and frequency. And then finally, related to that, we are going to talk about recovery. Now, you cannot expect to train at the same intensity day in day out week in week out month in month out without recovering properly you have to recover enough between your workouts you have to fuel your workouts properly a part of recovery is nutrition so you have to eat big to lift big if you're not eating enough you're probably not going to get any stronger. So that includes one, meeting your protein requirements, and two, also eating enough carbs to fuel your lifting. That being said, a low carb diet is probably not a good idea if you want to get stronger. Just look at the strong people, power lifters, strong men. They're not very sexy. They don't look like the guy who steps on stage, who's completely depleted, like on the brink of death, Niyo lang alam, ganun talaga yung mga bodybuilders. Like, the days they step on stage, they're not very strong on those days. But, they do look good. That's because of depletion, depletion. But anyway, we're moving away from the topic again. 
So you have to eat big to get big. That being said, supplements could help, but they will not be a substitute for a subpar diet. So a lot of people talk about creatine, beta alanine, things like that, branched chain amino acids. But none of those are gonna work if you're not eating enough, if you're not eating enough carbohydrates, enough protein, and also enough fat to support your hormone function. Remember, you cannot neglect fat too much because a lower fat intake results in lower testosterone levels. And if your testosterone levels are low, you probably won't have enough aggression to push through the weights in the weight room. So make sure to get your macros right and recover properly by sleeping enough as well. So here's the thing, chronic sleep deprivation is a problem. This, was, this is not going to help your body get stronger in any way. Make sure to get at least seven hours a night optimize that sleep by keeping your room very dark keeping it very cool very cold and that will do wonders for your recovery now a few things to keep in mind to optimize your sleep avoid very bright screens about two to three hours before you sleep you can also use blue light blocking glasses if you're into that if you're into hacking things like this or you can use very very dark blackout curtains in your room as well uh, personally i sleep late I sleep very late and I wake up late as well. Not one of those early to bed, early to rise people. So uh, it, it really matters a lot to me that I sleep in a dark room. I even use eye shades and my curtains are blacked out. So things like that. Every little thing will help. So let me know in the comments down below what your experience is in trying to get stronger. You know, we're gonna, we could probably do a part two of this video simply because there's so much involved in getting stronger. We're not even talking about programming yet, following a proper program because those things all matter. They all count. So let me know in the comments down below what are the things that you've done to get stronger or do you have problems getting stronger? Hopefully this video helps you out. And if it does, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much and we will see you in the next one. What's up? Titas and Titas, you're watching Tita Fit, and in this channel we talk about health, fitness, and wellness. And there's a freaking hair right on the mic. I can't. It's like, uh, not my hair. Too long. Yeah. <laughs>